Welcome to Emila Online Tutorial. Now before us is this uh the affecting uh, equation that says solve four is the power of x minus thirty six is the power of y equals twenty-eight. Alright for us uh, to solve this let's reduce these two to the base of two and six respectively. In that case we have two raised to the power of two or is power of x minus 30, that will be 6, to the power of 2, or the power of y equals 28. And we know according to the law of indices that when you have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n, the same thing as saying a raised to the power of n or the power of n, which implies that the power here can be interchanged. And if this is true, so we can say here 2 raised to the power of x or the power of 2 then minus uh, 6 raised to the power of y or is power of 2 equals what 28. Now if you look at this equation closely you we can say this a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2 is likened to uh, this quadratic equation I mean algebraic expression that says the square of 2 uh, the difference of two squares which gives us a plus b into a minus b right okay so if this is true we can also write this in terms of this here we have that 2 raised to the power of x plus 6 raised to the power of y then into 2 raised to the power of x minus 6 raised to the power of y all equals to what 28 now if you look at this basis you see there are even numbers now raised to the power of uh, an integral from 1 to wherever and from here if it is an even number which means the the result of this will give us an even number the result of this also will give us an even number which implies that when we even add them it will also give us an even number even number and when we subtract them it will also give us an even number which implies that two even number being multiplied should give us what 28 and if it is two even number you can see from here a plus b a minus b which implies that this this sum here should be greater than their difference now if this is true now the factors that i got for 28 we have that of 14 times 2 Take note, the greater will be at the, uh, the beginning. The under 128 will give us uh, 7 times 4. And 28 will give us 28 times 1. Okay. And out of this 3 now, here we have, this is not an even number. This is not an even number. So the best option here is this. So is the number 1. So here we can now see that 2 raised to the power of x plus 6 raised to the power of y into 2 raised to the power of x minus 6 raised to the power of y equals to 14 times 2. Okay? Now, if this is true here, we can see that this, the sum of this should give us 14 and the difference of this should give us 2. So we can now liken it to this equation here, 14, which is equation 1, and 2x minus 6y raised to power y, rather, equals what? 2. Now we can add these two equations together. So here we have, and the reason why we are adding is because to eliminate this uh, term here, 6 raised to the power of x, and here you have 2 raised to the power of what? Uh, 2 raised to the power of what? x. Sorry, 2 times 2 into 2 raised to the power of x then equals when we add this together here we have uh, 16 now to this effect we can divide both sides by 2 so here you have 2 raised to the power of x equals to what 8 now we can now reduce this to a base of uh, 2 so which will give us 2 raised to the power of x equals to 2 raised to the power of what, 3 so our x here will give us what 3 now if our x is is giving us 3. Let us plug in x for this. Or we can say 2 raised to the power of x equals what 8. So for here, 
we can now say this is 8 plus 6 raised to the power of y equals 14. Now let us subtract 8 from both sides. Subtracting 8 from both sides. So here we have here you have 6 raised to the power of y equals to 6. Okay. Now in this case, this is automatically 1. So here we can see that y equals to what? 1. Okay, let us see if it is true. Now for here, 4 raised to the power of 3, then minus 36 raised to the power of what? 1. Now here you have 4 times 4 times 4, which will give us 16 times 4, which will give us 64, then minus 36. I believe you know the answer. So here we have uh, 28. Alright, if you love what I've just done, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in physics, chemistry and mathematics. Thank you and God bless you.